everyone, Linda Israel here, and I am working on a project for the Fantabulous Cricut Challenge blog. In addition to that, this is going to be another one of my daily junk journals for Junk Journal July, and I am doing this for the blog and for the Cricut Challenge blog and for my Junk Journal Challenge. So here's what I've got in front of me. These are Digi images, this unicorn and the cloud from Bugaboo. This is the unicorn set. I'll have a link in the description top box to the blog so you can check everything out. And I set this up in my Cricut to print and then cut. And so those have been cut out by my Cricut. I'm going to color those in just a moment. Then I cut out a basic circle. This is going to go behind my images. Then I cut the word dream from the wall decor and more cartridge. And then I cut the word journal from the heritage cartridge. I've got in front of me a piece of heavy color watercolor paper that measures what was it? It was 9 by 6, and then it's folded in half, which makes it 6 by 4 and a half. And I'm going to make a journal out of this cover, and then I've got a scrap of map sitting here. So the first thing that I want to do is I've got my spray box that I like to put things in when I know I'm going to spray upon them. And then I've got this stencil that I picked up probably at one of the craft and hobby stores locally. I've got a couple of colors of Tattered Angel's Glimmer Mist. I have Curious and Pink Poodle. I'm going to just spritz over on top of this. This will give a, what I call a rainbow effect, if you will. I'm just going to grab a sheet of paper to mop up the excess spray. So there is the beginnings of my journal cover that I've sprayed. And then the next things that I need to do is to color the unicorn image. Get a couple things out of the way. So I've got a couple of colors of chameleon. They've got peony pink and then I've got the topper to change the color for is turquoise. So I'm going to open these up and then I'm going to fuse the two together. I'm going to count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And what this is going to do is blend those two colors together so I get a really cool effect. I'm going to go in here and color in on this unicorn. Isn't that cool how it blends together? Alright, then I'm going to do the same thing again and do it on the main as well. I've got a paler pink here. This one is called Bubblegum Pink. I'm just going to go in and highlight its face and nose. I've got a blue. This one is called Lagoon. I'm just going to go in and color the hooves. I've decided for these little clouds, I'm going to spray them with Tattered Angel's Glimmer Mist. So I've got the same pink poodle. And now I've got the curious. Dry this and be right back. This green circle needs a little help. It's a little too bright for me, so I'm going to spray it with some Tattered Angel's Glimmer Mist. That should help tone it down just a little bit. 
I've got a few things collected here that I want to put on the front and after I got it all set up I decided I need one more thing so I'm going to use this heart I'm going to spray it with some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist I'm going to use Black Cherry and just give it a little color that'll make it a little bit brighter on the background I think that would look pretty good right there. All right, so I'm going to adhere these down. I'm going to use some Brutus Monroe Craft Glue. It's a real thin glue, so it doesn't take a whole lot to stick things down. I'm going to start with the matte piece, and then we'll adhere all the other pieces down in place. I've got some glitter glue and I want these clouds to have some glitter on them before I put the unicorn on top. So I'm just going to go around it in some swirly fashion. And I'm going to put a little glitter on this heart as well. I'm going to add some emerald green to this using Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. I want it to be a little bit darker than the green that's on there. I'm going to take this over to my sewing machine and sew some zigzag stitches on here just to add a little bit more interest. So I added a little bit of a zigzag and straight stitch and zigzag again. So this will be my cover. I think I may want to add a couple more little things and then I'll be ready to do the inside. I've got some self-adhesive rhinestone that I think would look kind of cute on here. So I'm just going to pull them off the backing. Sometimes you have to cut the adhesive between the gems. My cover, I believe, is ready to attach to my book. The one thing that I like to do is I have a stamp that has my contact information. So whenever I make a journal, I try to add it. So I'm going to stamp that on the back inside cover. And then I've got pages that I have made. So I took the same digi stamp and printed it on some it's basically copy white paper but it's fancy paper and that it's a linen and it was a strange green color and anybody else that would have had it probably would have thrown it away but I got it for two dollars for a whole ream so I've been using it over the years by adding tattered angels glimmer mist to it and then I've got one of my mop-up pages that I have sewn a book page on the bottom and I've made it to be two, two tuck spots. There's one here and there's one there on both sides. And this was a scrap that I cut off uh, when I was making other journals. So again, I'm using things that may have been trash. Here is a page out of a notebook or a composition notebook that I've covered with Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. Another one of the printed pages. This is a map page that I added some scraps onto and it's got a little flip out. 
Another one of the printed pages. It's another one of the pocket pages. There's the map. Here's another page out of a composition book with a pocket along the bottom. And apparently I let these get glued together. Okay, good. And then on this page, I've made little pop-ups or fold-ups out of scraps of the notebook paper. And then here is another one of the printed pages. So we're going to get all these lined up. Nice and neat. And I try to put them in the center of my journal pe page cover. And I use giant paper clips to hold it in place. Then I have a template that I've made that I've measured the inside of my pages so I know how far apart I want the holes. And then I've got an all, so I'm just going to push down through that V all the way through to the outside. Try not to move my template. Do the other side. Come on. thicker pages at the bottom because of the pockets so it's harder to go through all right so I've got some waxed linen thread and you can pick this up in my link that I have below it's from Amazon and I cut three links I go one two and three and then I cut off from the spool and I'm using a book binders needle I'm going to go through the center of the book in the first hole from the outside up to the top hole. And I'll pull this up, leaving a tail on the inside. And then I like to hold that piece and then pull these strings towards each other. Then I'll go back down through the center hole on the outside, go down to the bottom hole, and then I'm going to capture this first string, make sure it's pulled tight and there's not any slack. Now we'll tie a knot, and then I'll tie a second knot, just a square knot. I'm going to trim this off and then I'm going to add little hearts to the strings. So, for the Fontabulous Cricut Challenge Bog, I decided that for the Anything Goes, I would use the Unicorn Digi from, I always say it wrong, Bugaboo. And I cut it out with my Cricut. I also cut out the shape of circle in the background. And then I cut out the word Dream Journal from my Cricut as well using the Wall Decor and More for the Dream and the Heritage cartridge for Journal. And then I used some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist on the cover. I colored the image with the Chameleon Markers. Let's see, I used some of the glitter glue on top and then I added a few of the rhinestones. Of course then the inside pages I've used the same digi on some of the pages. Made some fancy little pages with pockets. I made these little journal cards. It says life is magical. And these were just scraps of ivory cardstock from Canvas Court Brands and they should fit quite nicely inside this journal. I thought that would be a great idea to have for journal cards. 
Then a couple of them I use a different washi tape that says beautiful love, happiness, sweet, dream, laugh, that kind of stuff. Oh wait, that's not the... I put it on the right page. So I put those in there as well. And then the rest of the journal is ready to go to add other journaling cards or tuck spots into the journal. I've got some satin ribbon here and I'm going to use a length of it to tie the journal shut so when it's not in use it will have this pretty little bow and then we'll trim that. Alright so perfect so there is my journal that I've created for my junk journal July and also for the Fantabulous Cricut Challenge Wop. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask below. If you haven't checked out the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group, check out that link as well. We share all things junk journal. And of course, please check out the Fantabulous Cricut Challenge blog to see other projects that were created by the design team and to enter to win the prize this time around. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and make sure you choose that notification button. Give this a thumbs up. Thanks everybody. Bye.